This video is sponsored by no one. This is a Christmas special video. I have been following Daniel Shipper for a very long time and I really love his work. Recently saw his video where he created a wonderful commercial out of nowhere and I was so inspired. I wanted to create the same video for you for my audience so I took up the challenge. Sorry? Hmm. Uh, okay. So Santa is asking you all to subscribe to my channel because he has promised me that by Christmas he is going to give me 10k subscribers. Let's watch the video first and then we'll begin with the editing. So creating a commercial like this must be really requiring a high-end machine, pro editing skill and some fancy editing software, right? wrong using a basic laptop and desktop we are going to create this commercial animation right now and it's going to be very very easy i'm using my laptop you can use a laptop or a desktop we'll log on to canva.com and here we are once you log on to canva you can see it's a nice sleek and a very clean interface we are going to create a video so simply we'll click on video and we'll ask it to create a blank template. So here we are with a blank template. We want to create a Coke commercial ad, which is a soda based ad. So we want to add some nice colors, bright colors to make the ad stand out. By simply going on a template, we'll search for neon. And let's see what we get. Now, one thing I want to tell you that Canvas has pro version as well, but I'm not going to use that. The reason is that I want to create this ad or this commercial with the resources that I have without using the promo so that even you can do the same. If you see these icons with this uh, king crown that is basically for the pro mode, let's go below and look for something that will suit the mood of our theme. So after scrolling, I found this. Now that I found a template I want to use, I'm going to remove these elements which I don't want all of it, just click on it and it will allow you to select and simply delete it. We want to place the Coke cans one by one. What I did, I did a Google search and I found some PNG images of Coke. PNG images are those which have transparency in the background so that we can just use them anywhere we want in our scene. I have already uploaded them. For uploading, you can simply go on upload media and then import it from the folder where you have saved it. Here I have the very first can, which is the cherry flavor. Now I want to match the theme. So what I'll do is the background, I'll just click on a background. On the left hand top, you can see the background color and I will change it to black. So once we have imported the can, we are going to add some effects to it. But before that, let's add a text. On the left hand side, you can find a text column or a panel. Let's look for something nice. I think this looks good. Cheers. Here I click on it. Now what I want is I want a text behind the can. But before that I change the color. Matching to the theme of my Coke can. I'll select red color. Right click and send to backward. And here it is. Just place it in the center. Yeah, you can see the cross line and here it is placed in the center. We are going to increase the size of the can a little bit here because the can is the hero. Okay, we have it in the center. Let's add some drama to the can because it is looking very flat now. Basically, it is looking like a 2D object. So we select the can, edit image, and we will look for a glow by going down. Here we found a glow. It has added a black kind of a shadow. So that looks really cool. It is making the can stand out from the text. It is giving a 3D kind of effects. Now if you play back this sequence, nothing is going to happen because we have not done anything. We have not done any, any kind of animation, anything yet. But if you play back, see nothing is happening here. Let's add some fun. We will select the text behind and we'll go to animate. You have a lot of options over here. You go down, you have the pro mode, you have pop, you have neon, but I liked this bounce. So I'll just tap on the bounce and let's play and see what we have. 
beautiful now before i animate the can i would like to also add another element of uh, you know a sparkle because soda is usually something that sparkle when you pour it in the glass it looks so bubbly and fizzy so let's look for sparkle let's go down and find something appropriate ah this look good yeah now this is obviously a, a very large size i mean it is very big so we'll just simply by using the top corner we'll make it we'll resize it and place it here we will copy and we will control v for pasting drag it down here i would like to flip it around because i don't want the same effect look it, it's like too much of duplicacy clicking on this on top we will say flip horizontally or vertically whatever sound good here we are this is looking fantastic now we need to add some animation to the can by clicking on the can go to animate here we go we have a lot of animations over here and this is a pro we are not using pro because we are not subscribed to this yet we have rise we have pan we have photo rise none we have photo zoom i will be looking at rise i wanted to rise like you know as if it appearing from down now let's play back and see what we have got wow doesn't this look good now that we have created the first slide we are going to duplicate it by going down you can see three dots click on that and say duplicate page now we have another slide now that we have the other slide which is duplicate slide we click on that and we will click on diet coke get it in the scene and we will be resizing it exactly as per this if you go down you can magnify it so that you know that the job is going well i mean you are aligning things properly just a little bit of scaling and this probably look good to me click on this position backward click on the black soda can and move it now we have a white can so we want the environment or the atmosphere to match that we click on the background again let me zoom out a bit go to the background here we will select probably a gray color this is looking good by clicking on edit image we will go to the shadows part click on it and we will use backdrop now what backdrop does it gives a nice 3d effect of the can shadow falling behind it giving nice beautiful feel earlier we are using a black uh, background so we could not use this because it would not really look very good now we'll change the text and make it uh, something as probably zingy should sound good zingy now let's place this behind this is in the front okay it's already in the back sorry we we had copy pasted it now that we have created two flavor slide we are going to reduce the duration by going on this watch icon and probably 2.5 should be fine because commercials are not very uh, uh, longer in duration let's play back from the first slide and see what we get this goes and then this comes in let's add a transition that will make this video look even more beautiful by clicking on a plus icon here you can see there is a arrow kind of a button is showing you add transition let's look for some nice transition i think this circle wipe ah this looks fine what you can do is you can select out yeah this look fine so let's check the flow we played this and here comes the second now we'll also reduce the duration of this clip by selecting it and we can uh, type in manually 2.5 here we go we'll duplicate this so duplication is very simple just click on this bar up on the top duplicate page and we have another one it's time to add another and the final soda or the coke can we go to uploads we already have it there we tap on it and we are going to resize it as per the size here we go let's send this to the back and remove this can from here by selecting now this is a mango flavor so we need a nice yellowish color to this whole theme again we'll click on the background and we will go up here and we'll look for a nice yellow color this look good or probably this uh, i find this looks nice let's change the text and its color we we'll click on a text behind 
and I think we'll make it tangy because the uh, lemon flavor is usually tangy. But here I don't want to keep the text the same color. We'll go to the text color and I'm going to choose a yellow. Wow, this looks fantastic. Clicking on a can, we'll add a shadow, edit image, go to shadow, backdrop shadow. Wow, this looks cool. Animate it like we did earlier and select rise. And let's play back the sequences. Here we go. And here we go. Wow. We have to add a transition again to the slide by clicking on plus. Say add transition, look for circle wipe and say out. Here we go. Let's select the first slide and play back. Two, three, beautiful. Isn't it looking so cool? Now we will do one thing. We are going to have all these cola cans in the final shot. This is, a, this is not a complete sequence yet because we need to show an end shot. Uh, on the plus, we'll add a page and we will make this white color. Let's go back to upload. We'll get all the cans one by one. We'll get the cherry cola. Then we'll get the mango. We'll get the diet coke plain flavor. Take this on the left hand side. The diet coke. These are the mango. Let's resize them a little bit so that you know the uniformity is there. I hope all of them look uniform. Let's do probably a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this will be aligned. We'll keep we'll keep all of them in the center. So what we'll do now, we are going to increase the size of this so that this looks like a 3D effect. A little bit more. Cool. This look good. And this is center aligned now. Let's get this here. We'll take it backwards. So this hide behind this can. We'll get this can here as well. We'll also put this backward. Now this looks good. Just do a little bit of placement so that it looks nice and uniform. Now what we can do is we can select all of them. Or we can click either on either of them and press shift and select all three. Right click and say group. Now with this what happens is when you move this around, they'll all move together. Just get this down a little bit and I also downloaded the Coca-Cola PNG file and here we go. We have the Coke. This is looking a little big, the logo. And we'll place it here. And what we are going to do here is we are not going to add an animation to the can now because we animated them enough. We'll add only the animation to the logo. Let's look for animate. And probably I choose the rise because then it gives the feel as if the uh, logo is rising from the can. Let's play this back. You can also play it full screen on the right hand side in the corner. You can see these two arrows. Simply click on it and here you go. One, two, three and here we go. Beautiful. Now the best part about Canva is that it also has a music library, so we can go to the audio. It has audio from Epidemic Sound. Some of them again are pro and some are free. Let's look for that something that is free. Uh, let us play this. Let us play this track and see how it sounds. This is also a free track. This gives a nice festive kind of a sound. Let's click on this. The moment you do that, it will come on a timeline below. It will simply adjust it by dragging it on the left. And now let's play back and see how this looks. Let's set a timeline behind and play this back. So that's it. It was so simple. Now if you want to download this entire animation, you simply go on top and say download. Now the thing here is now, if you think your job is good and this is a paid, somebody is paying you to make something like this, then you need to buy a subscription of rupees 400 from Canva and this is not sponsored by Canva. So if you pay 400 monthly, you can use this entire, all the pro mode of the entire app or the application online for one whole month for free. So that is your choice whether you want to go ahead or do so or probably just practice and stop here. So I really hope that this video taught you something really fresh. Please subscribe to the channel before you leave and you can watch the other videos. Let me know in the comment box below 
how you like this video and if you create one please share it with me